Hey, good morning. Welcome. Come on in. Come to my kitchen and sit around my table. I'm Andy Lee, and this is the Bite of Bread. It's a daily nourishment for your soul. We take one bite of scripture from the reading plan called the Bite of Bread, and we dig deep underneath the translation looking at the context and letting it feed us and teach us and help us live um, a more full life hey louise good morning good to see you i'm glad you could join me today i've got my cup of thankfulness this morning from beth francis so glad y'all can come come on in there's more people coming in there's plenty of room there's tons of room isn't that cool hey deb warren good morning and jane brady i'm glad you could join us today good morning yes good to see everybody it is thursday it's thursday and in case i forget it at the end because i have a lot on my mind so yesterday i messed up and i said i'm drawing for the winner for the book today but no it's it's friday i got my days confused so tomorrow hey jennifer hey jen good morning good to see you yay you finally made it i know you're busy mama with those three boys hey elizabeth good morning um anyway so yes um today's not friday tomorrow's friday so tomorrow is when i'm drawing for the jesus calling book if you already have one don't let that stop you from sharing this video going to my website and commenting so you can have your name in twice um for the drawing and if you have the book already then you can give it to somebody else hey stephanie good morning and kara good morning good to see y'all do y'all like my cup of thankfulness is it not huge it does have coffee in there it's just way down there because it's so big hey beth good morning i'm glad you can join me beth is a school teacher who is enjoying her summer time and so she can join us in the mornings in the summer and that's really why i keep on doing this in the summer because i know there are people that have more time in the summer and so i keep on going hey hold my hands let's pray us up and get us ready for another great word god is just so good his his word is filled with truth that changes us and um, i'm excited about today hey christine good morning hold my hands let me pray you guys up lord thank you so much again for waking us up this morning for for telling the sun okay it's time it's time for the sun to come up just in time lord i love your mornings i love um just the clouds and the pink skies and and all that you do your creation is amazing and it truly shows us your heart your creativity your goodness in your kindness lord i pray you speak to us today as we spend this week talking about balance and how we balance our lives and even how we balance our faith how we balance our religion we don't like that word very much but how we balance those things and so god speak to us i, I pray you speak to everybody in just a different place just wherever we need it today it's in your name we pray jesus and everybody said amen yay awesome so i hope you have gone to wordsbyindylee.com and you've gotten the printable for this week isn't it cute it's got that little muffin on it i think i might start using that from now on and um so anyway um it has the verses for the week hi bev francis look what i'm using this morning I love it. I love this mug, but it's so big, I don't put it with the other mugs, and so sometimes I forget about it. But I had to use my cup of thankfulness today. Thank you so much. So anyway, I hope you've gotten the words by Andy Ling, and you've gotten the scriptures, and you've gotten the, um, the, the printable, because the printable has extra stuff on it. It's got the questions and the prompts. And today, well, I'm going to read the scripture first, and then I'm going to let you know what the prompt is. And so Micah 6, 8 says, and we, all, we know this well, um, you know, this is like the theme for many nonprofits, and um, we probably have it memorized. You may even have a t-shirt that has this on it. Micah 6, 8 says, He has showed you, O man, 
what is good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God period that's it that's the bite we're gonna chew on today good stuff what does the Lord require of us have you ever thought about that have you ever well god what do you want from me well it's right there it's in micah 6 8 but this is where heaven meets earth (laughs) i believe this is where heaven meets earth it's where what god has commanded of us it's the desire of his heart it is his heart we're going to be talking about that in a minute and so this is where our actions, where heaven meets earth. This is what God wants from us. In context of this scripture in Micah 6, my, the title of my chapter says, The Lord's Case Against Israel. And then if you start reading all of this, you know, Israel has not been faithful to God. Um, they have, they have, burdened um the the leaders have burdened the people they have not trusted god they've trusted others and um so god is is not happy with them and then in verse six they start defending themselves they start saying well well again what can we do what can we do to make you happy is what they're saying verse six with what shall i come before the lord how can i make this better how can I make this better, God? Have you ever done that? Have you ever asked God, okay, how can I make this better? Um, anyway, they say, With what shall I come before the Lord, before Yahweh, and bow down before the exalted God? Shall I come before him with burnt burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Hi, Michelle. Good morning. We're in Micah 6. I'm reading verse 6. Shall I come with him? Before him, with burnt offerings, with calves a year old, will Yahweh be pleased with a thousand rams, with ten thousand rivers of oil? That's a lot of oil. Hello. Shall I offer my firstborn for my transgression? Wow. Mm. Eee, that's huge. And, um, the only time Jesus, the only time God has ever done that is, and it's not for transgression, Right was when Isaac and Abraham went on the mountain, and yet he saved Isaac. The the ram, you know, was provided. The only time God has done that is when he gave us Jesus for our transgressions, right? So these guys, they are like, they are like really walking a thin line here, I think. Um so then he say then he says the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul. Of course, that's not what God wants from us, right? And then verse eight is our bite for the day. Hi, Venus Schrader. Good morning. The bite for the day is He has shown you, O oh man, what is good, to act justly and to love mercy and walk humbly with our God. So we're going to dig underneath. The translations here. We can learn a lot about these words. Um, Stephanie, good morning. And so, to let me just start breaking this down. The first word here I want us to look at. Um, he has shown you, O oh man. Did you know in the Hebrew that word is Adam? <laughs> he has shown you, Adam. He's shown you, O oh man. Just thought I'd tell you that. How cool is that? What is good? And that good, the word in the Hebrew is tov. Everybody say tov with me. Hi, Julie. Good morning. Tov does mean good. Um, I'm a good friend who's been to Israel several, ta- several times, and she'll say to me, Boker Tov, which means good morning, because Boker is, is morning. So now you learned a greeting in Hebrew, Boker Tov, Boker Tov, which is good morning. So he's saying, I've shown you, Adam, I've shown you, man, what is good, what's well-pleasing and whole and, and just pure goodness. Hey, Lori, good morning. We're in Micah 6, 8. And what does Yahweh, that word Lord is all caps, so it's the covenant God. 
He's talking to them. He, this is his name, the, his covenant God here, the great I am. And what does the great I am require of you to act justly and to love mercy and walk humbly with our God? The word justly here in the Hebrew is mispot. I'm going to, I'm going to spell it M-I-S-P-A-T. Misspot. Hey, Ju Judy, good morning. I'm glad you could join us. So this word does mean ju justice. It means law. Hey, Sherry, good morning. Justice is one of God's attributes. He loves misspot. That is who he is. He loves fairness and, and right and injustice. And for justice to be given, that is who he is. He is. In, in Psalm 37, 28, it says, For the Lord loves the just, and he will not forsake his faithful ones. He loves it when we just live fairly, when we're fair, when we do what's right, when we stand up for those who need us to stand up for them. So all of that is, is um, incorporated in that word. Misspot. Hey, Selena and Smith family, good morning. Um, the word, um, it said, Jesus said, you know, Jesus said, be one with the Father. I just said that this is the heart of God. This heart of God is to love justice, and He is a God of justice. And do you remember that Jesus said, be one with the Father, as I have been one with the Father. And I just, my, I just wrote down, oh God, give me your heart give me your heart and your eyes help me see things as you see things your mind help me think as you think give me your heart of justice lord you know it's really easy just to get in our own little corner of the world and be safe and secure and and doing our life and not look out at the world and and ask what we can do i do believe we need to make a difference in our little corner of the world first and with our neighbors and our family. But then there's a bigger picture that many of us are missing. And so maybe the question for you this morning, maybe what God's going to place in your heart is, Lord, what's my bigger picture? You know, or do I need to stay right where I am, focused on the justice that's in my corner of the world? But Lord, if there's something more, give me eyes to see, a heart to to react and and to be stirred and to know. Um, the word act here is really to act justly. So act is it's a um, Hebrew word asa a s a h. S is a verb. It's to do or make or work or create, to accomplish, to offer, to sacrifice. It carries the connotation of an ethical obligation. So when you put those two words together, it's very clear that we're talking about an ethical obligation here to help the others in the world and to make a difference and to stand up for the things that are right. Now again, we're talking about balance. We're talking about balance. So we're going to keep on going here to act justly and to, and to um, love mercy. So the word mercy, when we hear it in the, in the English, we think of not getting you know, the punishment we deserve, but mercy is so much more than that. It means, it means compassion. We looked at the Greek word alios yesterday, and it's very it's closely associated with this Hebrew word, which can you guess what it is? It's my favorite. It's kesed. So he's saying here to act justly and to love kesed, to love kesed, not just to do kesed, but to love the kesed. Oh Lord, give me your heart and help me love this kesed. And you're saying, Andy, what, what is kesed? Well, kesed, some of y'all already know because you've been watching this for a long time. But kesed is merciful acts of loving kindness. Kesed has to do with a relationship. Um, most of the time it had to do with the relationship. Sometimes it just happened. People like the Good Samaritan. We, we read about the Good Samaritan yesterday. The Good Samaritan was, was showing Kesed, was 
uh, showing these acts acts of loving kindness he didn't just walk by and say oh i love you i'll be praying for you no he got on his knees and he took care of the man that had been beat up and he he wrapped him up and he put him on his horse and he took him to the inn and he provided for him and and left the money from the innkeeper and said take care of him i've got to go on and i'll be back and so that was chesed because he showed him these merciful acts of loving kindness so it's love with hands and feet it's mercy with hands and feet it's helping one another it usually has to do with um a covenant um, a relationship of a person that's got more than the other person does and so they can they can help that person that doesn't have as much when god with his chesed hey shelly murphy good morning when when god gives us his chesed even though we don't always return it his chesed never fails his kef his chesed never leaves us or forsakes us and so let's keep on going he says to act justly and to love chesed to love this not just to do it but to love it i think there's something about that <laughs> to love chesed and to walk humbly with your god and so i you know i think we can get so focused on this whole justice thing and chesed thing that when we get to the end and we get to the walking humbly with our god if we just kind of say that quickly and you know yeah done okay but let's really talk about what that means to walk humbly with our god you know pride is dangerous pride is sneaky pride can just sneak up on us it can look like humility when it's really pride do you know what i'm talking about here <laughs> do you know what i mean um you know i think about job when when i think about being humble and do you remember how in the, the book of job you may have to go back and read it but the book of job job was you know he's he's he never denounces god he never stops saying that god is god but he's not happy with the situation he's at and he's questioning you know why it's happened and god comes to him and the first thing god says to him is did you make the world did you do this and this and this and this and this and by the time he gets through talking with him job is like whoa i spoke of things i did not know and he is in a humble place because he's realized that god is god and he is not and so just question your heart lord am i humble with you and let me when we get in a place of being angry with god and not trusting god though god he's big enough and he can handle that and i've been there but really ask the lord 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 don't let any pride get in the way if you have trouble trusting god there's a pride issue going on there's a control issue going on if you have trouble trusting god so pride is dangerous pride is dangerous um what strikes me in this whole context of this chapter is that they are trying to figure out how to please god oh how can we make this better how can we make this up to you what can we sacrifice what can we give you and god is saying you know what i just want you to have a loving relationship with me and with people around you to be fair to them to be kind to them and to walk humbly with me don't be so full of yourself that you think you can fix all your problems that you are in control have you ever said to god god i've done everything you wanted me to do i've gone to church i've read my bible i fed the poor i did everything you wanted and yet everything is still a miss have you ever said that to him or have you heard somebody say that to him well i think we need to start backwards we need to go backwards in this verse and what does god one of us well first let's start with just walking humbly with our god when we are in that humble position for me it helps me you've heard me say this before to start my day on my knees because when i'm on my knees i'm in a humble position before 
the Lord. I'm in a place of worship and I'm in a place of humility. Stephanie, that is too funny. Can y'all see her little emoji and, and what it's doing? Anyway, um, so get on your knees with him um, and, and pray for our hearts to be in that humble place with him. You know, let it start, let this scripture start with our families, with our little corner of the world, in our marriage, you know, when, when we, we want to um, snap back or, or say something or get our way or get the last word. Anybody? Anybody? Does anybody like to get the last word? Either in your marriage or with your friends or in conversations with people when you don't when you don't agree with them, can I just suggest that this might be one thing that you try is not getting not always having to get the last word, you know, and just before you fight back, before you retaliate, that you really seek the Lord first, that you come humbly before Him first and when we do that then i believe we are walking out micah 6 8 so work backwards in the scripture let's work with humility first so what does the lord require of us does he require of us to to go to church and read our bibles every day and be on the bottom bread every morning and if you know yeah no all of those things help all of those things fill us up and strengthen us and encourage us. Hey, Judy, good morning. But we know those things don't get, get us to heaven. We know that Jesus is the only way there. But we also know here from Micah 6, 8, what God really wants, what his heart is for us, and is to walk humbly with him and to love the loving kindness for other people, love Kessa. Good morning, Pat. Good to see you this morning. I've missed you, my friend. Um, so he wants us to be humble, to love loving kindness and mercy with other people, and to act fairly and ju uh, with justice, um, and just to, to hold and carry and walk the way Jesus would walk. What would Jesus do in that situation? But I believe it all goes back to walking humbly with our God. When we do that, I think we're going to find the balance. When we do that, heaven can meet earth. When we start walking humbly with Him and loving the people around us and taking care of the people around us and making a difference in this world. Um, I wanted to read Jesus Calling to you this morning. This is the book I'm giving away um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. So tomorrow we'll be doing the Friday dance. Oh, it's going to be a good day. If you have any suggestions for songs that you want us to dance to, let me know. Write it up in the comments or, or message me or something. Um, you can share this video and you will be entered into the drawing for Jesus Calling if you already have it. Do it anyway, and so that you can give this book free to give it to somebody else. Also, go to wordsbyandyleen.com, and you can leave a comment, and that will also get you another entry into the giveaway. So, I'm actually reading from June 17th, but this is what it says. Learn to laugh at yourself more freely. Don't take yourself or your circumstances so seriously. Relax and know that I am God with you. When you desire my will above all else, life becomes much less threatening. Stop trying to monitor my responsibilities, things that are beyond your control. Find freedom by accepting the boundaries of your domain. Laughter lightens your load and lifts your heart into heavenly places. Your laughter rises to heaven and blends with angelic melodies of praise. Just as parents delight in the laughter of their children, so I delight in hearing my children laugh. I rejoice when you trust me enough to enjoy your life lightheartedly. Don't, do not miss the joy of my presence by carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. 
Rather, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. My yoke is comfortable and pleasant, and my burden is light and easy. Oh, man. I'm just going to pray for some laughter for y'all today. I'm going to pray for you to be able to trust Him today. And I'm going to pray for God to put some opportunities in our in our path today to, to just be a blessing to other people. Hold my hands. Let me pray you up. Father, we love you and praise you and worship you. And God, I do pray that we would not take ourselves or this life so seriously that we would depend on you, that we would walk humbly with you, that you would give joy today, that you would help us laugh today with our kids, with our neighbors, with people, with our, our husband, um, with people you put in our life or even in the line at Walmart. Father, I just I pray for joy today. Pray for um, eyes to see your presence and to know you're with us. Help us live a life that demonstrates Kesed, that loves Kesed, is fair and just, and most of all, is humble, that we are humble um, as we walk with you. It's in your name we pray, and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Lori lost audio again. What is that? I look great. Thank you. I'm in navy. It may look black. It may look black. Y'all can be praying for me. I um, I had the honor of doing a memorial service today for a, a friend of mine who passed away. So all of, I appreciate your prayers this morning. And I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to share this so that you can win a Jesus calling. Don't forget to go to Words by Andy Lee and leave a comment. Oh, I think that's it for today. Y'all go out there, be a threat for a threat to the enemy as you walk humbly with your God. I'll see you soon. Bye.